we are now going to determine if an equation is symmetric or not. And the way that we use this is we use those definitions about y-axis has a point at xy and minus xy, the x-axis having points at xy and x minus y, and the origin having xy and minus x minus y. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take an equation such as the following, y equals 1 over x squared plus 5, and we're going to break this test, this equation, into three different tests. So we're going to do y-axis, then x-axis, then origin. And on the y-axis, what we do is wherever we see an x, we replace it with minus x. And then we evaluate when I square a minus x, minus x times minus x, a negative times a negative is a positive. So this comes out as true. I don't want to write that in red. Let's write it in green. It's true. This is symmetric over the y-axis. For the x-axis, we do the same thing. Except, instead of replacing the x, we replace the y. So we're going to start with a minus y. That's a change, so I want it to show up. Equals 1 over x squared plus 5. Well, I can't do anything else. This is just a negative y. Since this isn't the same as this, this is false. It is not symmetric over the x-axis. And the origin, we replace both. So we get a minus y equals 1 over a minus x squared. And when I evaluate this, the minus y stays as a minus y, but the 1 over minus x squared plus 5 becomes x squared plus 5, because a minus x times a minus x again is an x squared. Since this is not the same as this, this is also false, and this is not symmetric over the origin. Well, let's look at another case. Suppose that our equation is x squared minus y squared equals 1, which is an equation we're going to deal with much later th this semester. Well, again, let's break this up. Symmetric over the y-axis, the x-axis, and the origin. So we start with the y, and wherever we see a y, an x, we replace it with a minus x, the y stays alone here, a negative x squared just becomes x squared minus y squared equals 1. This is true, so this is symmetric about the y-axis. For the x-axis, we do the same thing, except we replace the y And again, when I square a negative, that negative just goes away. So again, this is x squared minus y squared. So we have a true statement. And finally, we get minus x squared minus a minus y squared equals 1. And when I square both of these, again, they both become positive, And I'm left with x squared minus y squared equals 1. So this is also true. This is symmetric over the origin. This particular equation is symmetric over all three. So as we deal with our symmetries, it doesn't really matter which one we look for. Well, one final example just to showcase something, because notice that if the, both of them, if it's symmetric over the x-axis and the y-axis, it tends to be symmetric over the origin. But there are times where you might get an equation like y equals 4x minus x cubed, so we'll break this up. This is symmetric over the y-axis, the x-axis, and the origin. Well, for the y-axis, again, wherever I see an x, I replace it with a minus x.
Well, 4 times minus x is a minus 4x, and a minus x cubed is a minus x cubed. Minus a minus x cubed becomes plus x cubed. This is not exactly the same as this, so this is false. It's not symmetric over the y-axis. For the x-axis, we just work through the other way. We get a minus y equals 4x minus x cubed. And again, this is false. Can't do any more work on this, and it's very different than that. So this is false. It's not symmetric over the x-axis. But notice what happens if I change both of them. So we get a minus y equals 4 times a minus x minus a minus x cubed. Well, that gives me a minus y equals a minus 4x plus x cubed. But notice this doesn't look the same as this, but I don't like this minus y. So what happens if we multiply both sides by a negative? What I do to one side, I do to the other. Well, minus a minus y is simply a y. Minus 4x, when I change the sign, becomes positive 4x, and positive x cubed times a negative is minus x cubed. And notice that this is the same as this. So this is, in fact, a true statement. This, is, this equation is symmetric over the x-axis.